Welcome. Let's talk about weight and why it's so hard for some to lose it. You see, your body has a set weight range it likes to maintain, much like a thermostat regulates room temperature. This isn't about vanity, it's about survival. For millennia, food was scarce, and our bodies evolved to store fat for lean times. This ensured our ancestors could survive famines and continue their lineage. This internal mechanism, this body fat thermostat, is remarkably efficient. It keeps us within a specific weight range, even if we consciously try to move past it. This essay explores the science behind this thermostat, why some settings are higher than others, and importantly, how we can adjust it to achieve lasting weight loss. If you found this information helpful, please like, share, comment and subscribe for more insights on health and wellness. For decades, we've been told that weight loss is simple. Eat less, move more. While this calorie in, calorie out model seems logical, it fails to consider the body's intricate regulatory systems, especially the body fat thermostat. This oversimplification has led to the widespread belief that weight loss is purely a matter of willpower. But if it were that easy, wouldn't we all be at our ideal weight? The truth is, our bodies are much smarter than that. When we drastically cut calories, our metabolism slows down to conserve energy, making it harder to lose weight and easier to gain it back. The body fat thermostat fights back, pulling us back to our set point even if that weight is unhealthy. This is why calorie restriction often leads to a frustrating cycle of weight loss and regain. Think of your body fat thermostat as an internal control system that dictates how much fat your body wants to store. This set point is influenced by various factors, including genetics, hormones, and lifestyle choices. When you lose weight, your body interprets this as a threat to its energy reserves. In response, it lowers your metabolism and increases hunger hormones, pushing you to eat more and regain the lost weight. Conversely, gaining weight above your set point triggers the thermostat to increase metabolism and suppress appetite, encouraging you to eat less and shed the excess weight. This constant push and pull ensure your body stays within a particular weight range, maintaining what it perceives as a healthy equilibrium. Section 4. The Science Behind Set Weight The science behind the body fat thermostat is complex, involving a network of hormones, genes and brain signaling pathways. One of the key players is leptin, a hormone produced by fat cells. Leptin acts as a messenger, telling the brain how much energy is stored in fat cells. When fat stores are low, leptin levels decrease, signaling the brain to increase appetite and conserve energy. Conversely, when fat stores are high, leptin levels increase, signaling the brain to reduce appetite and boost metabolism. This feedback loop helps maintain a stable body weight. However, in some individuals, this leptin signaling system becomes disrupted, leading to leptin resistance. This means the brain becomes desensitized to leptin signals, even when fat stores are high. As a result, the body continues to store fat, leading to weight gain. Section 5. Factors influencing your set point. While genetics play a role in determining your set point, lifestyle factors can significantly influence it. One major factor is diet. Consuming a diet high in processed foods, sugar, and unhealthy fats can disrupt hormonal balance, leading to insulin resistance and increased fat storage. Chronic stress is another significant contributor. When we're stressed, our bodies release cortisol, a hormone that promotes fat storage, especially around the abdomen. Lack of sleep also disrupts hormonal balance, leading to increased ghrelin, the hunger hormone, and decreased leptin, promoting weight gain. Section 6. Hormones and your thermostat. Understanding the hormonal effects of different foods is crucial for controlling your body fat thermostat. Insulin, a hormone produced by the pancreas, plays a central role in regulating blood sugar levels and fat storage. When you eat carbohydrates, your body breaks them down into glucose, which enters the bloodstream. This triggers the release of insulin, which helps cells absorb glucose for energy or storage. However, consuming large amounts of refined carbohydrates and sugars causes frequent insulin spikes, leading to insulin resistance over time. This resistance disrupts the body's natural fat-burning process and promotes fat storage, making it difficult to lose weight. Section 7. Taking control of your set point. While we can't entirely change our genetic predisposition, we can influence our set point through lifestyle modifications. 
The key is to adopt habits that promote hormonal balance and improve insulin sensitivity. One effective strategy is to focus on a whole food diet rich in vegetables, fruits, lean protein, and healthy fats. This type of diet helps stabilize blood sugar levels, reducing insulin spikes and promoting insulin sensitivity. Regular exercise, especially strength training, is crucial for building muscle mass, which helps boost metabolism and burn more calories at rest. Managing stress through techniques like meditation, yoga, or spending time in nature can help regulate cortisol levels, preventing excess fat storage. Finally, Prioritizing sleep is essential for hormonal balance and overall health. Aim for seven to nine hours of quality sleep each night. By adopting these lifestyle changes, we can nudge our body fat thermostat in the right direction, achieving sustainable weight loss and improving our overall health and well-being. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more informative content.